Hi YouTube, um, I was just, I'm making a video to talk about a subject that's often uncomfortable for people to talk about, but the subject is incontinence. Um, for the kids that watch my channel, hi Natty, hi, hi Trey, hi um, anyone else who's a kid watching my channel, but this video might be kind of boring because I'm talking about peeing on yourself. When you're a kid and you pee on yourself, um, most parents call it having an accident or whatever. When you're an adult and you pee on yourself, then it's called incontinence. Um, and so, due to my condition, um, sometimes I have occasional incontinence. Now, I take medication that helps. As I've talked in some of my other videos, sometimes I wear diapers. Um, but I realized after t attempting to wear diapers kind of on a regular basis, I realized there's a reason adults don't just wear diapers um, because it's it's you know there's there's many <laughs> reasons. Plus, I think my bladder was getting lazy, um, so I I don't know. I have to now. I'm trying to train my bladder and I'm practicing like Kegel stuff, kind of, um, which is when you like when you're trying to pee then you stop <laughs> the pee like halfway through or whatever and then um you know let it go that way you're practicing being in control of your um urethra or whatever that is um and so anyway that's working better but like this morning i um i took a sleeping pill last night i woke up and i peed on myself <laughs> like i peed on the bed so now i'm gonna spend the day doing laundry, washing the sheets, washing the bedding, washing the bed liner, um, all that stuff because, um, and then I, I was so tired that I just put, um, one of my disposable bed liners on top of the bed where I peed and then, um, I started to go back to sleep and then I realized I'm not done peeing, um, so I went to the bathroom to try to pee some more and then um, I was transferring to the toilet and I kind of fell out of the chair slash toilet. I, you know, I made it back on. But I ended up peeing some on the floor. So now I get to clean my floor and all that stuff too. So, um, yay, today is a cleaning day. But anyway, so I think that sometimes people are embarrassed or, um, whatever to talk about the stuff like this, but the fact is that, um, that some people have incontinence, some people have, have to cat, have to, um, like there's, there's all kinds of, of issues, like I've had bowel incontinence, which is when you poop on yourself, um, and yeah, that sucks even worse than being on yourself, but, um, Anyway, so I, w I want to talk about it. I want to talk about the fact that I tried diapers and, you know, I'll still use them if I'm on my period or whatever, but, um, and if I'm going on a long car trip or something, then I'll use them, but, um, but they aren't practical to use on a regular daily basis. Um, but I think that more people should talk about the issues in their lives that, that might be kind of uncomfortable. Um, so, you know, feel free to talk to me about it. Like, I know that there are other people out there who who are struggling with, with even the fact, just mentally accepting the fact that your bladder <laughs> is controlling you and not the other way around. Um, that's a difficult challenge. So if you want to talk about something like that, if you want to, like, if you experience anything like that or if you have some tips or whatever then feel free to open up and to share them because you know what life is real and we can sit around pretending that bad stuff doesn't happen but um some elements of life just are difficult and they suck and um it's important to talk about and to recognize you know yes my bladder often controls my day and there's nothing I can do about it um but I can talk about it I can let other people know they're not alone you're not alone all right bye